Hi everyone, welcome back again to my channel on land matters. It matters that it is land and there are matters on land that we must begin to discuss, to analyze with a view to seeing how we can all dwell on this limited land peacefully, profitably and sustainably for the future. My name is Abigail Bagaya Mukolwe. I'm a land and land governance expert practicing in Kenya. Uh, on today's episode, I want to talk about something I have observed and um, on issues land. And uh, I don't know where this is going to take us. And for lack of a better word, I want to talk about land vultures. That's what I think they are. So please, first of all, forgive me in advance. Eh? I am not talking about anybody here. Uh, what I'm talking about is not referring to any particular person, but it's what I have seen. And in this case, um, I want to talk about uh, the society we live in. We have seen cases where we have uh, some families that are really poor, they are destitute, they don't have money, they are poor, but they have land. They have land. And their children maybe are so brilliant, they go to school, they are doing well, uh, they've passed, they're supposed to join high school, they're supposed to join university. But the family, because of the economic situation, they are not able to afford. Neither, they, neither have they been able to access the scholarship, uh, the scholarship opportunities out there. They have not been able to access the scholarship opportunities for, for high school. Or even some of them are not getting help loan to go to university. And the kids have done well. To, they've done really well, but they need fees. But the only thing the family has that they can dispose of, because they have sold the cows, they have sold the chicken, Hakuna kitu ngini akuuza imebaki tu shamba. Sasa mtu anakuja kwa kwa na kuambia, mtoto wangu amepita, <coughs> nataka ende shule hatuna pesa, lakini tunauza shamba. Mtoto wangu amepita, naenda university, hatuna fees, lakini tukona shamba tuneza kuuza. In some cases, it may be that they are sick. They are really, really, really sick. And they need medical attention. They have tried everything they can, and they have nothing else they can sell to give them back their health. Instead, they only have land. And you know, life is precious. You know, the Bible says, I want to refer to it, the Bible says that a live dog is better than a dead man. So you see, if you're dead, there's nothing you can do. Even a live dog is better than you. So life is really good. Life is important. So these people approach you. They come out there. They look around in the village. They approach some of the well-to-do people in the village, telling them, oh, our children want to go to school. Oh, we need some money for medication. And they want you, they offer their land to you to buy. In some cases, I have seen some people who have money. They don't even wait to be approached. Instead, they are walking around. Anatumana maneno kwa village. Muniambie, mutuambie, mukiona, mukisikia watu ambao wako na shida ya pesa. Na wanataka kuza shamba, muniambie. Hmm? So they have people on the lookout in the villages. In various places for people who are in difficulties. People who have no money. They cannot go to school. They cannot take their children to school. They need medication. So they can buy their land at very low prices. So what these people do, they know that these families are very hard up. They are so stranded. They approach them and buy them land at very low prices. They offer them very low prices. But because these people are so desperate, they don't know what else to do. They take it. Or these people approach them. They say, oh, you can take a deposit. Then we will go to the land control board. Then we will finish. Then some of these people become too clever for the poor family. And they end up taking up this land without even paying full price for the piece of land. So what happens? These people, the little money you've given them, they're not even able to finish taking their children to school. In the process, they have been dispossessed of their land. And you know, for the poor, when you take away their land, which is also, it is, their, it is what they have. It is what gives them food. It is where they dwell. So when you take it away from them, without compensating them adequately, fairly, in accordance to the market, uh, in, the, in, the, in line with the market rates, what are you doing? What are we doing in that case? Of course, it means that we are making them poorer. We are making them more poor. Yet there's a way out. You can approach these people, or when they approach you, try and enter into transactions that are above board, involve the family members, buy the property at market rates. Buy it at market rate. Alternatively, 
You can also advise them and tell them, hey, you don't think it's a good idea for them to sell. You can tell them an idea that can help them and lift them to another level. But taking advantage of these poor people, buying their properties at throwaway prices, even sometimes at half price, then you don't finish. Then you take over by force because you're able to manipulate the system and run forward and get documentation for yourself is really, really unfortunate. So these people, not for lack of a better, I said they're land vultures. No, they're looking for where people are desperate. People are dying. People are so low. And they want to buy their land at the lowest price or even grab it from them at almost no value. So on this channel, I just wanted to talk about how can we be more considerate? How can we relate with these people who come to us who are hard up and they want to sell to us land? First, you have a choice. One, you can also not take their land. You can say, no, 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 I will not take your land. But maybe I can contribute in another way. I can try and show you where the scholarship opportunities are. I can tell you where a good hospital, the general hospital here, level five, can help you or elsewhere where we can spend less money to get your situation treated. Or alternatively, you can also tell them, I will buy your, mar your, your property at market rate. Not anything, just at market rate. And then tell them how to use the money well. Teach them also how they can enhance themselves. Alternatively, you can also help in to support them. Let us begin to be more charitable. Because when you dispossess the poor, like I said, when you dispossess them of their land, you dispossess them of everything. And it becomes very hard for them to work out and get out of that pit where they have been put. So ladies and gentlemen, let us have more compassion when dealing with land matters. Let us be more kind. Let us try and operate above board. Let us be fair in our dealings in land. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening to me today. It was just a short one. Uh, if I've stepped on your toes, please forgive me. I didn't mean to mention anybody. I just saw that is what is happening now, particularly in this school fee season. Uh, and if you, this is your first time that you're watching us and you have not subscribed to our video, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button so that when we share next uh, videos next time, you'll be able to also to follow. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much and God bless you. Bye.